Welcome to today's webinar, which is hosted by the companies Threema and Treasurit. Today we are going to talk about secure collaboration in companies. My name is Elisabeth Rötsch. I'm account executive at Threema. As a strong believer in the need of privacy, my personal goal is making the world of business communication safer. Every day I am in close exchange with the customers of Threema Work and I'm pleased to represent Threema Work today in this webinar. Before I give the word to my co-host, Peter, for your information, there will be no live Q&A today, but you can submit your questions via the questions tab directly to us or via the chat tab. Then your questions will be visible for all participants. Now I would like to give the word to my co-host. Thank you, Ali. Uh, my name is Peter Stössel. I am Chief Revenue Officer at Treasurit. Um, Treasurit is a supplier of end-to-end -end encrypted, zero-knowledge-based cloud platform for secure and uh, for secure storage and collaboration and file sharing with internal and external partners. Uh, I share very strongly the same values like Eli just uh, told you. Um, I am a believer in making the world a better place by encryption and uh, by giving people and businesses uh, the security of their own data. More about it later. Back to you, Eli. Merci, Peter. Yeah, the protection of privacy is anchored in the Universal Declara Declaration of Human Rights. On the left side of this slide, we see Article 12 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. On the right side, you see the Panopticon, which is actually a prison system. Jeremy Bentham, an English philosopher and social theorist, invented a social control mechanism that would become a comprehensive symbol for modern authority and discipline in the Western world. The prison system called the Panopticon. The basic principle for the design, which Bentham first completed in 1785, was to monitor the maximum number of prisoners with the fewest possible guards and other security costs. The layout consists of a central tower for the guards surrounded by a ring-shaped building of prison cells, so the prisoner would never know if the guard is watching him right now. This mechanism is used in nowadays digital surveillance systems too. And these two elements, the Panopticum and the Universal Declaration, Declaration for Human Rights, have something in common. Because today, our human right for privacy is in danger. Futurologists even say privacy will become the luxury good of the future. At Threema and Treasurit, we are committed to protecting privacy, which is the fundamental core value of both companies. Protecting privacy and data of our users, both companies, Treasurit and Threema have been on this mission for over 10 years now. Peter, tell me, how did Treasurit actually begin? Thank you. Well, how did Treasury come about? Um, it all started with a book about encryption, basically. Um, our founder, Istvan Lam, received a book 12 years old on cryptography um, as a gift when he was around 12 years and for Christmas, a Christmas present. And he was so enthusiastic about it that he later studied computer science with a focus on cryptography. And well, basically, Treasury was created because he did not want, as a private person, to send his work to his teacher unprotected, and therefore he developed the first prototype of Treasury. Um, the idea that all individuals and all companies should have the right to sovereignty and control over their own data has driven Treasury ever since then. And end to end encryption with zero knowledge technology and the simplest possible operation was therefore anchor anchored in Treasury's DNA from the very, very, very beginning, and it still is today. Well, I know uh, our companies have a very, very similar founding history, Ali. So, what is it like for you? Yes, that's uh, actually the next thing Treasury and Threema have in common. In 2012, there was no end-to-end -end encrypted chat application. So one of the founders therefore developed Threema in order to be able to communicate end-to-end -end encrypted himself. 
it was quickly clear that many people actually wanted such an application. So Threema was launched at the end of 2012 and then, yeah, then it immediately took off, so to speak. Threema Work was then founded in 2016, as many companies also expressed a need for it. But back to the year 2023, where do we stand now, Peter? Well, where are we today? Um, today, Treasury offers one of the most secure, if not the most secure cloud platform for the secure storage of information, uh, secure collaboration with internal and external partners and secure sharing of data. Um, Add-ons such like uh, Outlook integration or email encryption or electronic signing without system breakage complete the offering. Whenever you have to file to, to share sec securely files with internal or external parties, we are in place. Um, now uh, we developed into an organization with customers of uh, over 30,000 customers and companies uh, who use Treasury worldwide. Our solution is used by around 200,000 users in 193 countries around the world. Um, where does Threema stand today, Eli? Thank you, Peter. Well, being a pioneer in the field of secure communication, nowadays more than eight and a half million users rely on our solution for private communication and over 7,500 companies and two and a half million business users rely on Threema Work or Threema on-premise. Threema Work is GDPR compliant and suitable for compliance with regulations such as NIS2. We host our own servers in Switzerland and the Threema apps are open source. And to mention some reference customers, well-known companies such as Mercedes-Benz Group, the German Federal Bank, TK Elevators, the city of Frankfurt am Main and the Swiss Army and also the Swiss police. So first of all, the question, do you think that your company is at risk for experiencing a cyber attack? If not, please take a quick look at the figures. In recent years, 86% of German companies suffered a cyber attack and over 223 billion euro in total damage has been um, harmed to the German econ economy. And it is estimated that a ransomware attack occurs every 11 seconds. So let me point this out. Every 11 seconds, a ransomware attack occurs. I just read this morning in the paper that in fact the British Library just suffered a ransomware attack. And in some countries, even 57% of medium-sized companies have to shut down after an attack. So these figures clearly show that every company is at risk. It should also be noted that most attacks occur via unprotected communication channels. So do you already know how to communicate in the event of an MS Teams or Outlook outage? If not, you should think about this and you should think about this today because more and more regulations are coming and then you need to have the answer to questions like this. Now I would like to talk about three regulations that are very relevant for companies. First, the well-known GDPR. The GDPR um, regulates the protection of personal data. Please note that conventional messengers are not GDPR compliant and are subject to high fines. The increase in fines compared to previous years was 50%. Threema Work is fully GDPR compliant. Threema Work does not collect any personal data you can even use Threema work completely an anonymously. End-to-end -end encrypted, no end-to-end -end encryption and server location, Switzerland are further key factors. There are also clear terms of use and a privacy policy. And last but not least, GDPR compliant data processing agreement. Then let's have a look at NIST2. 
NIST 2 is a directive that regulates the security of network and information systems in critical sectors, such as energy, transport or health. Companies that have to comply with NIST 2 must offer secure encrypted communication. This also applies to crisis communication in the event of a cyber attack. And three more work covers precisely these measures. Then DORA, this is a regulation or a regulatory framework for financial companies that requires companies to prevent or minimize cyber threats. For example, by using a secure business messenger such as Threema Work. So you have these three regulations covered with Threema Work. Uh, Peter, what do you think of regulations? Yes, Ali, thank you. Um, I think that this is one of our fundamental tasks as companies, as security companies, besides security and usability because we ensure that our customers can always work in compliance and despite the constantly changing and expanding world of data protection regulations. Um, I would just like to mention TSAX, HIPAA, FINRA, and the CCPA in the USA as examples of many. Um, our customers rely on being able to work in a protected and data protection compliant manner, despite all the dangers lurking on the internet. Um, individuals, as you already mentioned, and companies are confronted with um, countless online threats on a daily basis, as you will find out in a moment, Ali. Well, in addition to privacy, data protection is also at risk. Today, even at this very moment, more attacks than ever before happen. We read about cyber attacks and ransomware attacks in the media almost every day. In business life, it is very common to receive phishing emails, often combined with CEO fraud. Smishing, when you receive a fake SMS, target your mobile phone with fraud intent. This is also very common. Or phishing, uh, which stands for voice phishing. This is a phishing attack that is carried out by a telephone call or voice message. And new techniques for attacks come up too, like deep fakes. Peter, are there any other dangers in the cyber world from your point of view? Yes, I think so. Um, you named a lot um, and uh, one of them is still mentioned here. I think um, we have two other threats to encryption and security in the digital world. Um, first, the institutional regulations such as the online safe bill mentioned in the slides or in the UK or the planned EU surveillance regulation, uh, which want to build a backdoor into encryption, so-called client-side scanning, in order to supposedly better detect crimes such as side abuse. Um, in my opinion, this does not solve the problem. Criminals simply find another way to pursue their activities. And it is more than naive to think that this backdoor uh, built in by regulations is only used by the good guys. Of course, this door is also open to all cyber criminals, foreign governments or totalitarian regimes. Um, another threat is the often very poor or complicated user friendliness or usability of encryption systems. That's why usability is our and Treasury our top priority and our UX department is constantly working to make our product as intuitive as possible to use. Um, as you can see in the next slide, this is not always so easy. So often the developers intentions and the reality in the user world do not really match. Um, the developers are convinced that they have created a product that is really, really easy to use. Like in the left picture, in this picture you see, um, in reality, it often looks like the next picture. Um, users have a completely different approach how to use the software and there lies the challenge for us. Um, any system in which security plays a role only works just well if it is as intuitively and to use as possible so that every single step fits into the user's natural workflow. Um, as I just mentioned, we have not only relied on our cryptography professionals from the outset, but also employ a whole host of uh, UX experts who deal with the use of our software. Um, the next slide shows what happens when usability is not given. So we know that users will choose in almost every case the most convenient way if they can. 
If it takes five steps just to encrypt an email or back up a file in a folder, users will quickly find a way to bypass the system and take a more convenient route, even if they offer little or no security. Um, I, I say a shadow IT system is quickly uh, developing that defeats the purpose. And especially when it comes to file sharing and messaging, there are many solutions in use that are quite easy to use, but also very, very insecure or vice versa. Um, with Trezorate, same with Trima, uh, we offer customers a solution that combines both factors, security through end-to-end -end encryption and the simple, most intuitive operation, because our solution fits seamlessly into the natural work processes of users and administrators. Um, I think you can tell a pretty similar story, Ellie. Yes, indeed. So even the most secure tool is worthless if it's too complicated so that users get a headache just thinking about it. One nice piece of feedback I keep getting from our customers is how easy and intuitive Threema is to use. I'll give you an example for that later. I'd like to take the opportunity now to talk about something else very important because um, very often I'm asked what's the difference between conventional messengers, private messengers, and Threema work. There are three main elements that already make a big difference. So first, the lack of administrability. You can't manage users with any private messenger. This means that you cannot control whether former employees or external parties are involved in company communication. You also cannot connect the services to an Active Directory, for example, or MDM system for efficient and automated introduction and administration in your company. Then second, you have no configuration options. For example, you cannot set uh, whether users can communicate internally or externally, or whether data can be backed up or information stored in the cloud. With Threema Work, on the other hand, you can configure over 30 parameters. Then third point, the low security of the apps. Many of the messengers are not open source, which means you cannot check whether the services are really secure, and many of them are not fully end-to-end -end encrypted. In addition, some of these services collect a lot of metadata and store this data centrally. So our responsibility is to protect data and privacy in business communication. What does this mean in practical use? Common use cases for Threema work are enhancement to MS Teams, which is not end-to-end -end encrypted, and in most cases hosted in the US. The next use case is reaching all employees, including people who do not work in the office on a PC, um, and you can also reach these people on their private mobile phones. A very common use case is secure replacement for WhatsApp. And then we have C-level communication. In addition to security, ease of use of the app is important there. And Threema Works combines these two elements. Then finally, BCM, business continuity management, Companies that can reach all employees in the event of a crisis remain capable of acting. So now the word is for you, Peter. Thank you. Um, I would like to stress one more, one more again, back to usability. Um, in addition to security, we simply have to remain number one here and continue to develop at the same time. Um, for example, if Microsoft 365 is the standard tool in most offices, um, we need uh, to give the people who work with it a way to exchange files securely. It must be possible to send secure links, for example, directly from Teams, encrypt emails from Outlook uh, with one mouse click and so on. That's the one side of, uh, of the Trezorit world, the user side, um, and office tools are the one thing, special applications are another one. Um, for administrators, we offer a lot of integrations, like, like uh, for example, uh, SIEM integration and integration into their own provisioning systems or Active Directory, to name just a few examples. 
Um, further applications will follow, and we also react strongly uh, to customer requirements in this area, and we try to integrate our solution into as many other systems as possible, always with security by design as the top priority, of course. Um, our customers also appreciate this, and I would like to mention two examples, if I may. Um, on the one hand, we have our customer Fiesmann. Um, in Germany, almost everyone who has ever wanted to buy a heating system is probably familiar with this company. Um, in addition to heating systems, Fiesmann also specializes in heat pumps and is highly innovative in both areas. Um, when the COVID pandemic kind of hit in and uh, the, the home office work uh, increased and the decentralized way of working from home, um, Fiesmann opted for Tresorid in order to be able to securely share sometimes uh, very sensitive, valuable or patent relevant research and development data between employees and with external partners uh, such as engineering offices, uh, patent attorneys or suppliers, and to be able to work together with them on projects in a secure way. Um, another customer example comes from the NGO sector. We run our own program for NGOs and offer them a 50% discount on our product because it is a matter very, very close to our hearts to offer these organizations a way to securely forward collected information across borders in the daily global fight against human rights and uh, against human rights violations. And, and thus projects, uh, not only the lives, uh, protects not only the lives of the people in these regions, uh, but also the lives of their workers. Um, one of them is Ethan Goodman. You see him here on the right side in the picture. Um, he was nominated for the Nobel Prize, uh, Nobel Peace Prize, among others. And uh, he's a very experienced author on China studies who specialized in, in human rights issues, particular organ uh, harvesting and trafficking. Um, in an interview with Treasurit, which you can download from our webpage uh, if you are interested, he talks about his as I say, aha moment, when he was standing on the border between China and Russia, a hard disk in his luggage with highly explosive photos, documents and interviews and statements. Um, and at the moment he realized, uh, and I quote, he said, if they catch me now, that's it for many of my friends. And um, immediately afterwards, Goodman decided to use Treasurit for file sharing and for storing information. And uh, these are the cases where I am personally particularly proud to work for Treasurit, and this is uh, where we come full circle back to the beginning. It's not just about uh, business critical data, it's about a fundamental right of privacy. Um, which customers does Threema work with, Eli? In fact, we have companies from numerous sectors, government, retail, industry, education, healthcare, financial organization, tourism, IT, and last but not least, automotive. Mercedes-Benz um, made a clear decision to use Threema Work as an enterprise messenger. Threema Work is used as a complement to other collaboration tools that focus on desktop messaging and video conferencing. As you can imagine, only some of the employees at Daimler work in the office and a relevant proportion of employees are out in production building cars and they are integrated into the company's communication via Threema Work. So the primary use case is the exchange of ad hoc messages, messages and uh, team communication in group chats. Threema Work is available to all employees on both company phones and on bring your own devices. And notification systems are also increasingly incorporate Threema technology by using Threema Gateway. So we have now reached uh, the end of our webinar. Thank you so much for taking part in our webinar today. We hope that we or that you were able to take away valuable input and we look forward to continuing our conversations with you. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to. Have a pleasant afternoon. Goodbye. Goodbye.